This is the Aladdin's lamp to him with a mighty will, according to Genevieve. Uh, it's a method of acquiring what you want, of acquiring your desires, and it's being utilized for hundreds of years. And we're going to show you here that hundreds of persons have realized that visualizing is an Aladdin's lamp to him with, uh, with a mighty will. A very interesting letter came to me from a doctor's wife while I was lecturing in New York. She began with the hope that I would never discontinue my lectures on visualization, which were helping humanity to realize the wonderful fact that they possessed the means of liberation within themselves. How beautiful is this? The means of liberation within themselves. So basically, she tells the story of a woman that had this dream of marrying a physician, and this dream gradually formed a, a mental picture in this woman's mind. And eventually she married, uh, after a consequence of events, she married this physician. And after that, she and her husband conceived the idea of owning a fruit farm in the south of the United States. That picture saw the light of materialization as well, right? So this method of visualization is very important very effective and uh, it's been used by some people you know right now for example Oprah Winfrey, uh, Jim Carrey, Will Smith, Conor McGregor, Steve Jobs they all use this method and per perhaps even you right so she says here form the habit of devoting a few moments every day to thinking about your work in a large broad imaginative way as a vital necessity to yourself and a useful service to society again form the habit of devoting a few moments every day to thinking about your work in a large broad imaginative way as a vital necessity to yourself and a useful service to society so it's a necessity you have to transform that into a necessity she gives the example here that James Hill, the great railway magnet, before he started building his road from coast to coast, said that he took hundreds of trips all along the line before there was a rail laid. It is said that he would sit for hours with a map of the United States before him and mentally travel from coast to coast, just as we do now over his fulfilled mental picture. It would be possible to call your attention to hundreds of similar cases. And the method of picturing to yourself what it is you desire is both simple and enjoyable. If you want to understand the principle back of it well enough to believe it. So you got to believe it. Is it working? If, even if you don't believe it, yes. But the idea is to bring to raise consciousness, right? To raise, uh, uh, to make it to the light. The idea is to have more self-awareness and to have a more controlled approach to the visualization method. Over and, no, over and above everything else, be sure of what it is you really want. So this is the most important part. You gotta know what you want. And then you have to form the habit of devoting a few moments every day to thinking about your work in a large, broad, imaginative way as a vital necessity to yourself and a useful service to society. And that's the Aladdin's lamp if you have a mighty will. That's why it's not going to work if you don't know what you want. So it doesn't matter if you want a dollar or a million dollars. It doesn't matter if you want a tiny house or a massive house, a job, or if you want to build your own business. It doesn't matter. The meaning given to these things are given by us, not by the universe. The energy necessary is the same. 
So if you are able to visualize whatever you are able to visualize and believe that has to be true in your life, you have this mighty will that will become a mental picture that will gradually form a mental picture, something you will see over and over again. And then the circumstances, the coincidences of life will take you from one place to the other. Okay, from A to B, and then you repeat, just as the example she gives us here of the woman that wanted to marry a physician, and then after that, both her and the physician, her husband, conceived an idea of owning a fruit farm in the South. And then after they formed this mental picture, they eventually saw the light of material materialization. Form this habit if you don't have it. But before that, be sure of what it is you really want.